Welcome to our video demonstration of the respiratory diaphragm stretch and the yoga practice Nali Kriya. Use a medium-sized kid's ball about three-quarters inflated. We'll work with the tissues of the diaphragm and abdominal viscera. Here I'm tracing a clockwise, then an anti-clockwise path around the midsection. Now that you've seen the basic course that we'll be taking, we're going to center the ball on the mat. Lie down on top of the ball. You'll want the ball just below your rib cage. Begin to snuggle into the position. Support the body with the weight of the forearms. Take a moment to settle in. Rock a little from side to side, locating the diaphragm by tracing the ball more under the front ribs. Use contract relax stretching to go deeper. Inhaling, contract the tissues. Exhaling, relax to stretch. Following the path of the large intestine clockwise. And eventually we'll work through and reverse the course. Take your time here. Keep adjusting your body. Becoming sensitive to this searching out any sweet spots that you might find. Again, using contract, relax, stretching. And keep breathing. Keep reducing the tension in the body. Using a little movement as well. Pin any tissues that you find and then stretch and move around that tissue. Feel yourself getting longer through the side body, longer through the spine. You should not feel any tension in the back here. Although I'm lifting up into a sphinx position, you might need to be a little lower the head closer to the floor, even resting the head on the floor. You'll find your way. Continue sensitizing yourself to this process. Maintain a soft face. Ease into it. You'll be surprised to find many tight spots along the abdomen and intestine. This stretch will work on all of the tissue of this area, including the iliopsoas, the hip flexor. Noticing how the breath naturally deepens through the practice. Take your time with this. Keep breathing. This series allows us to downregulate by deepening the breath and deepening our connection with the body. Right here at that core. Just as it's important to strengthen these tissues, we always want the ability to consciously release and relax deeply. As your connection to the diaphragm and abdomen increases, you may begin the initial stages of learning Nali Kriya, which is the traditional yoga practice of churning the abdomen. In the Nali Kriya, this requires to have not only strong contractile tissues, especially of the rectus abdominis or six-pack muscles, this sequence also requires us to have the ability to relax deeply these same tissues. In fact, it's a very sophisticated interaction of the contract relax that helps us to perform the churning of the Nali Kriya. Let's transition up and take a look at the Nali practice. Here I'm standing and supporting the weight with the arms. Again, I'm allowing the diaphragm to completely relax in and then beginning to churn the abdomen clockwise then anti-clockwise. For more information and full body sequences, visit smartstretch.com.